Hi there everyone, this is me, Jenny Kirk, welcoming you back up into the loft to Wear Yard. And today, well, I've been on the hunt for bargains. And in these days of ever increasing prices, I thought that this might be something that a lot of you guys would be really interested to know about. And it's a phenomenon known as new old stock, often available at uh, what is actually comparatively a great discount over what the current RRPs are. What is new old stock, you may be asking? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you with the help of uh, a model shop that I've been secret shopping at, and I've been finding some really great bargains. I want to bring these to your attention. So come with me in association with our sponsor, Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders and accessories. We're going to be taking a look into the stock room of Hereford Model Centre. So uh, we've got a link in the description box down below that helps you find this model shop. And it really is a treasure trove of uh, bargains. So I'm really excited to show you some of the things that I've found on sale on this website for, in some cases, anywhere down to less than half, if not a third, of what the current RRP is for some of these models. stock is something that we've talked about before on this channel when we went to visit the Holton Model Centre. Now sadly that shop is closed but it was often described even by the Backman representatives as being one of the best kept secrets of the North West and the reason for this was because they had a lot of stock in that had never been put up in price so it had gone on the shelves at the, the proper price and then the years had gone by. And in some cases, uh, I actually found models in there that were around 15 years or more old. And they're perfectly good. And uh, uh, the manufacturers still had in their range the same model, but with you know, different livery on them. And it meant that if you weren't particularly fussed about a specific identity of a locomotive, then it meant that you could get them at what was actually the uh, going rate, you know, 10, 15 years or more ago. Now, since the demise of Holton Model Centre, I've been looking around and I found actually another model shop, Hereford Model Centre, and I've picked up a number of items. Uh, I kind of secret shop at these, so um, yeah, I didn't rock up and uh, do the big I am sort of thing. I just went on there like an ordinary punter and bought a load of items. Now these three items are what I've uh, bought in the last week. And then prior to them, I also bought some stuff uh, uh, probably a few months ago, maybe just before Christmas. And I actually picked up one of their special commissions. I now haven't got the box um, because these have been running on the layout. Um, but this is a triple pack of the Backman 8 ton X Great Western Railway style uh, cattle wagons. Now I've checked, these are still in stock. They also have some of their other special commissions in stock, including some tanker triple packs for around the 25, 26 pound mark off the top of my head, which is actually a really great price for three of the Backman branch line tanker wagons. These three here, um, you're talking about under 30 pounds for this triple set, all with different identities. And that is, in my book, really great value for money. Uh, they've got a pack of three Great Western liveried weathered ventilated vans. And again, these are wagons which are still in the Backman range, uh, keep getting released, but the prices have gone up. But of course, the prices of the models on the shelf at uh, this particular model shop haven't gone up. You know, they're still at the price that they were when they were first put on sale. And it's often a great way of getting wagons, rolling stocks, even locomotives um, at a price that really we, we snap somebody's hand off these days for that. So um, I'm going to put a link in the description box so that you'll be able to find Hereford Model Center. They're not the only shop that has new old stock. Basically, look around, find a model shop that maybe isn't quite as well known as some of the big box shifters. And that's where when you start rummaging around, you can start to get some really great items. 
Should also be noted, I would like to stress that um, Hereford Model Centre haven't had an involvement in this video. I've done this off my own back. I've actually gone out and bought these models, uh, mystery shopper style. And I do have to report as well, actually, that the service was very, very good. I was able to pay by a variety of means. I chose to pay via PayPal because it's quick and easy and it saves you typing in all the bank details. Um, but you can pay by card and uh, actually the delivery it's well packaged and arrived very very quickly I think it was about two days from ordering to actually having these in my sweaty hands one of the other things as well that I've noticed at Hereford Model Centre is that they still have in stock the uh, big four liveried uh, seven plank and five plank wagons from Backman not all of them um, but I did see the Southern Railway ones there for about I think it's about £11.85 which is a really good price for these open wagons I saw uh, northeastern ones as well I think the great western five planks still in stock and again it's a great way of building up your uh, wagon fleet and not really breaking the bank. I mean, um, I think that the RRP on these is approaching nearly twice that now. So get them while you can. They're, um, it's simply a case of whilst stocks last kind of thing. And I don't actually know how much stock that they've got. Now, to give you an example of some of the other stuff, I picked up one of these, the uh, Hornby Shark brake fan. Now I've got quite a few of these but I spotted this at under £12. Uh, forget about that, it's clearly been on sale. But at under £12 for what, in my opinion, is one of the finest wagons that Hornby have put in their range. I know that for the last couple of years we've not seen uh, these uh, in the range but certainly these are a great wagon. Plenty of weight to them and um, this here is the Lodal variety, uh, factory weathered, with the wasp stripes on the end. I think the last time this was in the Hornby range, they put it out in certainly EWS livery. Um, I do remember those being around. And they were probably in the region of nearly twice uh, what... Uh, this was for sale, brand new, new old stock, and uh, certainly it's a case of get them whilst you can, because when they're gone, they are gone. And anybody goes, oh, why are you putting this video up? I couldn't find them on the link. Well, you know, you snooze, you lose. Um, it's not an indefinite amount of stock. We're not talking about huge amounts here. It's simply a case of browsing these websites and and ferreting out these these items. So one of the other things that I noticed that Hereford Model Centre in particular has got a lot of is coaches, especially Hornby coaches, the super detail type variety. And some of them liveries, which I've not seen uh, at the big box shifters for quite a while now. And one of them that actually at the moment, I'm trying to build up a train of these uh, chocolate and cream coaches. And I spotted this. It's not the railroad version. It's the, the full range version of the new style Hornby Mark 1s. So we've got a little bit of fading. I don't suppose you can see that there just on the end. So clearly these have lived on a shelf somewhere for a little while. Um, um, but I paid 20, I think it was just over 23 pounds for this, which when you consider that they are pushing, um, I think it's about 32, 33 pounds, maybe even starting to climb a little bit higher for the newest releases of the Hornby Mark I coaches, then that is pretty good going. I also saw that they had the Monsell coaches in the Southern Railway Green and also Southern Region Green. I've not actually seen them out and about in that livery before. They must have been out um, when at the time when I just wasn't paying attention. Um, they also had some of the Hawksworth coaches, the Collets. A lot of these super detail coaches, there's a lot of of the Pullman coaches with lights as well. Now it's hit and miss uh, in terms of having the, the exact coaches that you want. Uh, it's not necessarily the case that you can make up a full rake of coaches, um, but certainly to either augment an existing fleet or indeed lay the groundwork for uh, picking up the more expensive ones that you need to make a full rake. Certainly this is a great way of keeping the cost down. So I'm really pleased to add this to my fleet and build up my chocolate and cream uh, set. 
Now, the piece de resistance of this is this slightly shelf-worn box here. Now, this is brand new. Um, the shelf wear there is it's simply been on the shelf for quite some time. I'm not sure when this particular one uh, precisely came out. So there, 15061 D8235BR green, full yellow ends. And uh, this is uh, the Class 15 model from Hellion. And it's certainly one which... I've been meaning to add one of these to my collection for quite some time, it has to be said. Now, I am going to be doing a full box opening and review on this for a separate video. Being a locomotive, I think it does deserve that. But just to give you an idea of some of the locomotives as well that you can find. And this wasn't the only one. I think there was um, at least two other um, Hellion uh, Class 15s and um, some others. I think I even saw a Class 23. Now, don't quote me on that, but certainly if you're looking for um, some of these slightly older items, maybe you missed them the first time round, this is a good way of finding them. And quite often you'll buy them brand new from the original stockist for less than what they are changing hands second hand on sites like eBay. So it's a really great way of um, uh, of getting stuff. And I, I was actually quite tempted by a lot of stuff. Uh, but this was the one which I thought, you know what, I've really wanted a Class 15 for quite some time. And of course, it's never been out of the box. This is genuine new old stock, which just means it's been on the shelf for a while. Um, so I'm guessing that it's the last few that they've got left in stock. But you're buying these at the kind of prices that these were going on sale four, five, six years ago. I'm not actually sure when this model was out. Um, you can see there it's got uh, all that uh, new model sheen going on. And uh, yes, the, the new model smell. Just had a sniff of that. <laughs> People think, gosh, she's weird. She's sniffing her locomotives. So I'm really pleased to add this to the fleet. I have done a test run on DC works just fine. When I do record the full review of this, I will be doing a full DCC chipping in association with the sponsors Trainomatic. Um, so do stay tuned for that. Um, but really pleased to um, to actually pick this up. So there you have it. Um, a lot of new old stock. It's quite often a case of hit and miss. It's what you can find, what they have in stock. When they're gone, they're gone because this is just what's left that's been in the shop for um, however many years. And uh, whilst I've chosen to focus on Hereford Model Centre, uh, because that's where I found these from, it's the case that you'll find a lot of other lower volume, maybe more local model shops tucked away at the back of the shelves. You can find these bargains. So buying new models, or at least high spec new style models, it doesn't have to break the bank. And certainly I've got my eye on a few models from there. I really, really do like the idea of getting that triple set of the Great Western liveried uh, factory weathered triple pack. I think it's about £25 something and change, uh, which for three of the uh, Backman ventilated vans is actually, you, I mean, it's, it's not quite a third of what the current RRP is, but certainly it's um, probably a shade under half current RRP and it is a brand new model. So I hope that this video has been informative to you and uh, maybe seeded the idea of not just going to the usual places and forever complaining that prices are getting high. Ferret out the new old stock because this is a great way to add to your collection. I hope you found this video really interesting and uh, certainly if you want to go and hunt some of the bargains that I've uh, brought to your attention we've got a, a link in the description box down below that takes you to Hereford Model Centre and just to remind you this is something that I've done off my own bat. I've uh, bought all these models myself and it's just simply a case of I know a lot of people are really struggling on prices at the moment because they do seem to be on a constant upward escalator 
but it's really nice to be able to find uh, stock in model shops that's still at the price of what we'd have expected to have paid five or even ten years ago and there are a lot of great bargains out there so don't forget to tickle that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel and you'll be the first to know about new videos as and when they go up and also do give us a share it really does help the channel out but until next time, this is me, Jenny Kirk, saying take great care of yourself. Happy modelling. Bye for now. Today's video is sponsored by Trainomatic, makers of DCC decoders designed to be fully compatible with every manufacturer's locomotive. Visit train-o-matic.com to browse the full range and see what they've got suitable for you. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Michael Churchwood, Anthony Hunt, William Wade, Wayne Johns, Offshore Allen, oorail.co.uk, Tepic, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Peter Bolton, Brian and Dorothy Mudd, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Butterini, Andy Finch, Chris Moss, Robert Sears, MD of San Juan Model Company and Grant Line Products, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, and Mo Henry. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.